I would say transition uh, is something that that you need to be thinking about all the time. So I'm always thinking about what do I want to do in the next four or five years? It could be inside McKinsey. It could be outside McKinsey. In fact, uh, a few years ago, we have set up what we call a senior partner office that helps our senior partners, especially those who've been senior partners uh, for 10 plus years, people like myself. We need to think about what we want to do longer term. And, uh, and that spirit of renewal and learning is, is core to McKinsey. And in my advice is um, to, to really think about uh, both where is it that you know something about something, so the deep expertise. I, I mentioned healthcare and leadership. While at the same time being fresh, which is a question you asked, uh, Deepak, how are you going to stay fresh and how are you going to learn about what's happening in the world and, and being relevant to the world? I also find it very critical to, uh, to have networks outside, people who can be um, mentors, sponsors, advocates um, for you outside. I have my own uh, group of advisors uh, with a group of about 12 of us who meet the first Tuesday of every month. And uh, and these are all people outside uh, McKinsey who are deep friends, uh, but also mentors uh, of mine. And, uh, and, you know, unless there's a real, there's a crisis or a really, really critical personal and professional commitment, I don't miss that uh, session with, with my, uh, with my call it board of advisors or mentors that I have outside. Uh, and then the last point I'd make is the is the power of weak networks. Uh, some of my friends in operations management have told me, uh, your opportunities often come from from weak networks, not just from advocates or sponsors. If you have a sponsor, they probably have already thought of all the opportunities uh, that might be there for you. So maintaining that group of broader networks is so important because often new breakthrough opportunities come from that. That would be the last advice or tip I'd have for people, uh, Deepak. 